Hey guys, okay, so <clears throat> my hair's still wet. I just got out of the shower, but I thought that um, I would film this video because I get asked so much about the Vichy Derma Blend, and also I get asked to do an updated foundation routine um, for day wear. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So with the Vichy Derma Blend, I hear that the you guys in the states are having like a really hard time finding it. And I don't know what to tell you. Like um, in Canada, Shoppers Drug Mart, you guys, um, that's where I get mine from, and. I don't know where like you could get it online or what, but maybe check eBay or, um, I, I don't know. I don't think Shoppers um, ships internationally or anything, so I'm not really sure. But um, I use, um, right now I'm using in between 15 and 25, which are the two lightest colors, but 25 is much too dark for me. So I use about three-fourths of the 15 and um, a quarter of the 25. So first of all, I'm just going to put on a base. This is the NARS makeup base, Erin from... Awas gave me a bunch of them, so I didn't buy an actual bottle of it. Because why would I when I can get it for free from him in just mini samples? Which is perfect. So I just put this all over my face. It actually feels really nice, too. It's like, it feels like a moisturizer. Like, it doesn't feel super, um, it feels like a little bit sticky, actually. I was gonna say it doesn't feel sticky, but it does feel like a little bit sticky, but it dries, like, right away, and then it feels just matte. Okay, so taking, um, some of the Vichy Derma Blend, honestly, like, a little goes a long way here. Okay. So that's, like, the three-fourths part, if you can see, and that's probably still too much. I'll show you guys at the end if there's any left over, just so you can get, like, an idea about, um, how far this foundation actually goes. And then... Just right beside it, I put the, if you can see the darker color, that's the 25. And even still, oops, even still, this might be a little bit dark for me, and I'll have to blend it down onto my neck. So with my finger, I'm just going to mix those together. The reason I like this foundation, like, if you have, like, perfect, if you have, like, 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 if you have really perfect skin, which I don't, I have so many freckles and so much redness and darkness under my eyes, um, this is just, for me, I just like that covered look. So I just spot some on. So just lightly, I do that. <laughs> so cute. I mean, it's hardly anything on my face. Then I take, I think this is a 130 brush from MAC. I find this is the best brush to apply it with. It's like, they, they have the small one um, with the longer bristles. I have that one too, but I find that this one with the dense bristles works really, really well. So I tap this into um, the foundation that's actually on my hand, just lightly. So I'm, I'm actually like moving it away from it so it's hardly anything on it, because this stuff is powerful, no joke. And then I just start pressing it onto my face. And I'll do one side so you guys can, like, see. I don't even use concealer. I just use an under-eye brightener when I use this stuff because it's so, so crazy. I start in the center of my face, too, so I don't have, like, a line around my hair or anything and just buff it down onto my neck. And like once you have this stuff on, it is not going anywhere, you guys. It is like waterproof, I want to say. Okay, so hopefully you can see the difference between this side of my face and this side of my face. Blotchy and horrible and nice and smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and buff it onto this side and I will meet you guys right back here. Okay, so that took me like literally... 30 seconds or something like that and you can see I hope you can see that there's still um, there's still product on my hand um, it's sort of been pushed in but there's quite a bit on there all right I'm gonna wipe it off though uh, next step is I'm just gonna go ahead and put some um, this is the Smashbox photo op under eye brightener and it's okay I don't know if I would repurchase it and I'm just going to dot a bit of that underneath here. Okay. 
and just put it in with my fingers. I'm gonna take, this is MAC Prism, and it's just like a really nice, um, like blunt blush. I really like it. It's it's just a, it's a great color, and it's a great color um, for my skin, like for light skin, with, um, this is the Christmas edition blush brush from Quo, but it's the same as the professional blush brush, and it's really, it's good. It's so soft. So just putting a little bit on there, I'm just gonna um, sort of brush it on to my cheeks. Not really um like on the apples of my cheeks, but more on that more on the outer side of them. I don't know, this is just what I've been doing lately. Because I haven't really been contouring too much in the day. And same on this side. Just because it's like so cold out, it just gives you like more of a, a natural look, I feel like. I'm going to take, um, this is the Too Faced Pink Leopard Bronzing Powder, and I've had this for so long, but I haven't really used it too much, and I, I actually really like it. With the same brush, I'm just going to swirl that in. I, I feel like it's more like a, almost like a highlight, though. Like it just gives you a, a really pretty glow. I'm just going to swipe some of that across there. It just gives you some pretty color. Oops, just knocked myself in the eye with it. I'm going to take some powder on the flat uh, professional brush from Quo, the powder brush. I love this brush. Um, the powder brushes are 20, or the brushes at Quo are 20% off at Shoppers right now. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and light as a feather. Dust that down the center of my face. And that is it. So that's just what I've been doing for my foundation routine as of lately. Um, I hope one of you, some of you, one of you, I hope one of you got some help from this video. Okay, love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.